있습니다. Look at this level one here from G2 Esports. Oh They're already betting in the fight. Faker! Oh my god, have they got him? First blood onto Faker! And Trick as well. If you're wondering about a snowballing jungler, it could trick. Even though he's told to that by the idol, he's not really gonna have enough threat just yet. Shockwave comes down, catches up, bang. Tower is still alive. The unleashed power kills Trick. Faker does not care. Now SKT wait for the next minion wave. We'll make Hide here in the wolf camp. No flashes on Faker and Bang. If he can get onto one of those two guys, that could be a kill for G2. Right. Finds Bang. Gets caught. He's been kicked backwards. Ash Arrow this time lands. The heroic entrance will not trick up into the air. Perks has killed Bang. Trick is able to flash away, but it's a one for one. ADC for support. Expect has been exhausted in the back line. He's not doing enough. Now Pina collateral damage comes down. Sven Perks is able to survive for a few seconds longer. Hooney goes down, but it's just the GA. Wolf is lingering Elf in the edges of the fight. It's a one for one so far. And SKT disengaged. And it's really important to highlight when Huni ultis to save a team member, that team member gets 50% damage reduction as well. So it actually takes a much longer to take down a guy like Bang. Yeah, it gives you an example of how much damage was blown into Bang. Yes, they get the kill, but even after that, it's SKT who tries to get the pressure. Faker's in deep, though. He is indeed looking for Miffy. He's going to find him. The Dark Spears and Force of Will in a 1v4. Just move in together and do something. Deep Vision or Dragon, unless Levi can find an opening. Ooh, he dodged the stun. Crucial by Faker to not get stunned right there. Jumps in. Look at the damage up, but he's got. Be careful. Holds back in. Not into attack range, though. The flash to follow. Faker's got no more escapes left, but look at the move speed. He's got the flash. The chase on Miss gets it. Peter will get him back for it. He got to imagine. The one for one. Worth it. He killed Faker. KT, where it eventually became Protect the Peanut comp. More action on the top lane here. Faker's in, Hooney's in, Levi's alone. Here comes the dive out of that one. Gonna get away from the equalizer for now. Looking for damage out of Faker. Misses the Q. Oh, he gets him back for it. Looks like the ulti was not even pressed. I think it was up, so Levi does get a trade kill. And Wolf, despite getting attacked several times by the rest of the jungle of the opposing team, they have taken this one out right now. And here comes the arrow. gonna land a stun on a bang. Here comes the power, the shield, the run, and they're gonna to take this one down. The flash play goes on the side of it. They're gonna take down Bang, but the first kill has come through anyway. It's a one for one, despite the fact that it was an ulti landing. Now Osmo's awesome going for a bit more on a peanut. Exhaust is on, but he's kicked into range of Faker. His days are never gets the kill first off, so you can't complain about that one too badly. Two for two overall, though. Now, yeah, meanwhile, pretty equal. Aloha. I mean, usually it will caution against, yes, Jace can just destroy turrets, but actually Faker now with Slade decides it. Remember, he flashed forward in the last engage. Add an ED to the end, but it's going to be Slade right now. Faker picks him up easily, peasy. One for nothing, not even a. <laughs> Kobe's dying next to me. He's that was terrible. Freak. That was amazing. Big picture. Who, who is going to join next? So right now the top fight is going on. Archie fails the Blasco on the night here. He just simply one shot him with Faker coming in. Yeah. But look at Slay. He's zoned off. He's so far out of this play. He's not collapsing anywhere near. He's hovering in a brush right now because he's scared of of, of Varus currently. And then top side Faker wins. This. He panic ultis or. Uh, he ultis when he's low and he finds ultimates on his clone as well. There will be very little time uh, for the Marines to breathe here until SKT returns. Yeah, we here saw another look at the dive ball. We saw an exciting game so far with a lot of kills back and forth, but in the end, it's nearly 10 out, taking gold ahead at this point, I think. 24 minute in him down, everything set up for success. So while the, the journey may change, the destination is still the same for SKT here at MSI. One for zero so far. Turret still in their sights. Hasn't taken too much damage yet, but it will shortly. For the shield in for Faker. Looks to go in the back line. This time around, though, no ult. He's got to be a bit more careful. Is rooted. Zonia's on. And not going to be enough damage to kill him off. And the kill comes through. One is traded back by Stark, but it's three for one so far. With a 4v2. Fast tracking back towards that side of the map. He knows what the danger is. So, might get caught here. Let's see if Sven gets greedy. Going to move back down towards the Wolves. Wolf spot peanut. Now QE's going to hit. Ooh, and it's but Peanut's only level two. Hard time out. Yeah, damage is there, but the red buff's helping. So Scaring gets a bit of a heal, but now Faker gonna track him. Hooney down first here, and the stun's not enough. There's first blood for Faker. Double buffs going over to Faker as well. And that's about all they have. He's already popped his ultimate to try and go invisible. Here we try. Yeah, looking for it, but they stop damage pretty quickly. No, it gets low, but Faker secures it. Spang gonna go down to Peanut. SKT gonna get it all here. Hooney straight over the wall. Tugs go down, actually. Playing a little too aggressive with his teleport, but Peanut chasing in. Let the Q on Bjergsen. Gonna shut him down with a double kill. Peanut. Oh. Does get opened on the other end, but it's just so much damage. Bang, slays the back line. SKT gonna work on the last remaining member, and Haunter dead as there's the ace.
for SK Telecom. Yeah, fighting a risky 50-50 is all. Baron on four members. Peanut is walking in the minion wave, but SKT. Good cleanse. Vuxen flashes in to try and make that happen. Bang gonna get ulted in. Bang, look for the execute. Oh my god, he disappears and Vuxen goes down as well. SKT now gonna flash it forward. Biofrost chase back to the fountain. Fake up all the way in. Look for the shockwave. Grabs it, taking the fountain laser. And SK Telecom undefeated once again with so much style. To impact. And now Bang trying to get into the brush. Use the hide with Faker. And the shockwave could come in. The turnaround, no kill to hit. As the shockwave is held, they are still able to get one now. Shockwave goes to Mystic, and the fight Being follows up as SKT was waiting for it. WWE is really making them work and, and keeping this game very, very close. It's anyone's game. And making them work is not something you can Ooh, really Rengar ultimate coming up for Faker. Oh, he is getting pinched on this one. Ball to the top side. Death comes from the bottom as Kangen. It clears the fight is over as well, but a lot of summoners and alts blown to the side of SKT. Condi goes in on the Faker, oh, empowered under the turret. Condi taking damage, just gets out of range, but he still goes down to bang. Peanut's gonna be the next one up, and they cut the tree down right in front of his team. Kale's Crucible and that Redemption up for Peanut first. Faker with the cleanse as well. They're focusing Condi a lot on that CC break. A good flash on the Bola, and a powered one just to the left. Can Faker have what it takes? Finally gets taken down. Five's enough, four's enough. I want to let them escape. They're trying to corral them. Condi is playing it slow. Condi looking to get some stacks in, uses the Q. Redemption for Bang to make sure nothing happens for him. As it looks like he's gonna be able to get out alive. Condi very low, but Bang as well gets the shockwave. And that's the kill coming in for Faker. 957 over the wall. They're looking for the low health, but everything is getting away. This is changing the mentality of WE, making them go. The ends that goes down another inhibitor. Condi wants to go in this 957 as well. They have to make it happen. They don't have words behind them. This could be the entry. He's got to hit it. Bang gets the first knock, but he gets pushed to the side, and Condi is actually the front line with 957. There are the tanks. They go down the fastest. The hula hoop from Faker just for the show. Mystic, Ben, and Shea trying to make it to the base for Solace as SKT continue their dominance here on day two of the MSI group stage. They will stay undefeated as they take down WE. Crowd high play. They had the ward, but sadly they've already pushed in, so they, they couldn't actually leave at that point because they're already Ooh. behind. Here comes the attempt. They want to get Wolf here on this one. Nice knockup across three. The entire Flash Wolves team is here, and no one's able to get any damage. Bang just free firing on the back line. The quick anchor in. Here comes an entry for the heel. Keeps the back line alive, and now Faker's in the fight. He's going to kill off Betty. That's one down already. Looking for Maple, and now is Peanut. The attack on the Wolf. They will knock him down. One for one so far. Sword Art buys a bit of time. Peanut low, but not down on this one. The team cutting back, and Faker finding a second kill. That's two already. Carson to re-engage. Looks for Bang. Gets him. It's a trade. The passive end using Hootie would rather fight and close the game out. It's a true KDA player, full NA style, Hooney. As Faker goes for his third kill to fight, Hooney wants number four. Hey, buddy. And he's going to knock him down. Faker with three kills. One picked up as well for Hooney. That's going to be the game. Good yeah. pressure. So, I mean, they, they do like to go back to these, but not sure it's always the right choice. Oh, uh, Faker that. did not step back into the seismic shell, but it may not matter. That flash forward. Levi is a monster. Just behind Slay. And SKT will take down the last after turret. <laughs> Just keeping... You know, extending. Optimus is tagged, he's caught out! And that's uh, not the next kill for Peter right there. Faker steals it away. Ah, oh, Hooney and Faker, they just get yeah, Levi's up in the top. That's one and two for SKT. Uh, well played by Archie. He was looking for a double stun and then a really great positioning by Bang. He stayed just out of range for the second part of part two to proc from Top Kenshin to him. And now Faker is looking for a kill of his own. And he does it with the shockwave. Support picked up by Hina the first time these teams. That poison take canceling his uh, glide. I don't even know. Could be that one too. Maybe uh, it was low enough that he would die to the turret. Tied for kills with their day one matchup. Flash forward from Bang. He's got a lot of life steal. That's going to break the record. Faker gets another 40 kills in 25 minutes. SKT can now knock over these inhibitors at every opportunity. All right, they've broken the record, unfortunately, for Peanuts. He's going to need a Quadra or a Penta to break the most kills in a single game. Optimus is the target, gets booted backwards, he's flashed to safety, Faker's on a rampage. Not over yet, Faker attack and dissonance, sending the ball forward over and over. A tongue lashing and a whipping on a stock. Nexus turret number one goes oh, down, Faker gets you. another. Under the fountain, the equalizer's burning down the Gigabyte Marines, and they are aced. Peter finds his 15th kill of the game, and that's it for the game. SK Telecom knock over the second Nexus turret. Looked like he was trying to set up a play on the bottom lane. Didn't even get the deep vision, and this actually allows Flashwoods to get aggressive. MMD, unanswered. Oh, like, and really? Faker, we talked about the best players in the world, but that was not even...
even close to that flash being on the wall. Dying to turrets, you're catching them in time, and if you get chunked out, you miss 120 gold worth of minions when it gets pushed away. Now for the play, nice dash by Peanut to get away from the Warthog, but there's the A-O, he's found on Faker, and he's been deleted. No ulti available, Wolf next up, the Shark is in. That was nicely played, two for zero, they've gotten control again. But it, and now they're hitting the base 5v4. Now Hoonie has new equalizer, so Peanut's not even alive. Flash Wolves is just running right into the base. 15 seconds the jungler, inhibitor turret is gone. When can SKT get themselves a fight? The kickback on the Faker, he's gonna flash, but he's still dead. That's 11 to two win kills, and Flash Wolves Looking to close out if they can do it. Peanut just now back alive, but it's still a 5v4. Baron buff on and timing out soon enough. And his team lasting long enough to, to hit for him to get Oh, fights everywhere. Arrow top, fight in the bottom. Faker and Bjergsen going on a 1v1. Here comes Daisy as Faker's supposed to get out. Redemption comes down. I think he could stay alive for a little bit longer just to provide some nuisance to the bot side. There it is. He does go down as mid fight fizzles out with Wild Turtle falling. Their turret and the inhibitor now in their eyes. And TSM knows they have to make a play here. They're going to go for a desperation fight. The bang kill that they were looking for. Crescendo went out. A little bit of a miss on that. Wolf goes down now. This is how we saw G2 taking a hit in the last game. But the, the oh! damage that Booney can do, the damage that Peanut is providing from that back line is now all on the front line. And Faker hops in now onto Hauntzer, running for the base as Wild Turtle. Rather, Sven Skarin as he just spawned, I should say. And now it is SKT onto the oh, next turn. The Ivern. After Ivern, they're going to cut down the tree. Not long for this world. And the triple kill coming in for Faker as they're on the Nexus turret. Physical damage is from an assassination character who's never going to be hitting him. So he's going Spirit Visage first, and most likely Mercury treads after that one. Really love the choice. Faker again, 2v2 starting. Shock up his Peanut, but he all threw it. Now Trick caught out of position. Just has to run him down and try to get a slap, but Faker gets the kill. First 2v2 in SKT. G2 feel pretty confident, but they didn't quite focus right. And now Perk's without some respect. Right again, Perk trying to get back to his top, but he's got no chance. Faker nails that top and gets the kill. Yeah, first charm he hits, but of course got the previous kill now that and that's kind of what he was doing in the bottom lane with bang there that allowed him to turn the 2v2 well here we go though play starting stage united on this member faker looking for the 1v1 gonna be a 2v1 no 3v2 skt of course there first as midi's gonna join and try and save the teammates back but for shockwave barely gets warped and spent just gets annihilated by peanut the wild growth keeping alive through everything else in g2 every bang's waiting going wrong and here's bang Monster flank here from the Twitch. Expect does get the taunt down as Perks does take out Wolf on the other end. But Banks is firing away. Looking for Mithy, but here comes Trick Bank. I think a little too far forward. Does go down the Trick. Now Bank is dead as well. G2. Finding some kills. SK2, his aggression will cost some Peter. Turn to fight, but he's dead also. Homo will definitely leave this game with at least one replay he wants to draw his charge's attention to. And Trick just had to jump away over a further wall while they still don't have vision of this Baron. He's back in though. Would actually have a chance to steal with that vision. Caught not quite there. Trick needs to get back in, but this might already down. And now Trick's just caught out of position. Faker almost with the ulti ready to chase SKT. How far do they want to go? Faker instant shot takes down Trick. And they get a pick for the control plus something like this. A hyper carry that can come from stealth is just the biggest headache ever for G2. Well, pressure continues. Peanut to slaying people. Stands United. Is not quite going to be enough. Peanut barely lives up. Faker just nails Bang with a Q. His galley now going to knock up Expect. Appeal for the rest of the team. SKT might turn it back around. Knock up onto Expect. He flashes out. Terribly lose, right? Because we, we actually had a pretty big discussion about this. Ow. Hell, man. In the capture pit. And I think there were very varying opinions about what well, you'd actually rather win fast. You really don't want to be winning and then lose because then you're going to be more tilted after the loss. But so much of it will depend on the individual. If Perks had there, that would have been sick, but he ties instead to Faker. Just dashes for to happen. They're waiting for the minion wave. They're looking to finish the game. SKT are in rare form. Game looking to go down before the next Baron spawns. Got about a minute to do a Faker. Finds Perks to lead them off the map. It's the right next to Skin a full Faker. Looks for a second time. Doesn't get it onto Minty, but Peanut and Wolf are doing the business they need to do. He's right, trying. Let's take a look at I'm telling you guys, it is it impossible. Impossible is the call from Deficio. Cleanse has been used. Flash your in. Impossible. Steps the cocoon. The Volatile spot. Oh! Oh! Gets first blood! Condi's looking for Peanut! It's a double kill to a mid lane Lucian! I mean
but uh, there's nothing there for Money. Whoa, look at the oh, 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 killing! The sideways! Gia takes a tower shot! Impossible! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, he played that so well! Oh. And goes down, and Mystic anticipating a different direction. Faker flashes forward. Shockwave catches two! Wolf is caught up by the cocoon, and the collateral damage flies across Team WE. And you Bottling Tower is dying, and this early game cop. She is going see. in. He's going in. This is going to be another solo kill. She takes down Faker. So he saw three guys bottling in. That they're about to try and enter. Huni actually backs off after a good trade from 957. Oh, and there they go. Onto Bang. Bang is gone from the enchanted Crystal Arrow. Wolf is going to devour Faker. Where is the shockwave? Throw down. One, two members of WE are forced. They managed to take down Wolf as well. WE checks the kill. Double kill for Shia. 7 0 1. Looking for four. Baron. Down. That now you got your kills, man. You can go Baron. You can take it down. Uh, down to the actual objectives, and they're circling in on SKT. Right, Faker gets caught up by the cocoon. Heroes entrance will come down. Now Hoonie's in the middle. Shia tried to solo out back. Relentless pursuit backwards. Shut down by Faker. But it's Wolf that dies after. The shockwave only a 957. Faker trying to survive. Bang! Goes down as well. Condi takes him out. SKT, they get another double kill for Faker. He's got that red buff. Just as punch your Hoonie. And the winds of war. Catch Mystic. Flash. Heal. He runs away. Now Peanut's down. Hoonie's running for his life. Shut down where he stands. Two for four. There is SKT on the minimap. Stand United is the level for 957. The Baron's gonna go He's down. He's not calling now. Stand United oh. comes out. It's Peanut! It's oh, yes, Peanut and SKT! Kill Condi! Kill the Baron! And now Team WE are running. Zero gets tagged up by the idol of Durant. Strangle falls a bite some time. Mystic goes all the way forward. Shuts down Bang. 957 and Shia on the back end of the red buff. They're trying to fight away SKT. Shia and Mystic still alive. Booty's GA. No! Heroic entrance comes down. That's the wrong side! Entry gets caught. She is going for it. For the Nexus, it's Baker and oh, Shia flash. flashes forward. Takes a Mystic shot to the face. Mystic sidesteps away from the Essence Flash. Faker trying to get away. Uses the cleanse. Nexus turn number one is down. They got him. They're going to get him. Now the Nexus turn falls. Team WE. That can force. So even if they're trading down, it does affect them. That's as we see them actually taken out of it. Baker can get stunned up, but the arrows are there. Flash was fighting 2v3, 2v4. With Daisy in the mix as well. Flash was disengaged. Oh, could turn it back around. Faker. Does get the shockwave on the castle, but that's a cooldown burn as flashes are collapsing. MMD coming in for the right hand side. Maple is the flame join. He's gonna flash it out. Maple getting in there, but there's the depth touch on back. Does take out Sorta. SKT may have just defended Maple. Getting a caught. He's forced to flash the sword away, but Faker chasing in. He's one more order. Gets it now. MMD back with the block code into SKT. He's gonna flash out of the way, but Faker gonna keep chasing. Root call lands from Pina. MMD, he's tangy, but it's not enough. There's SKT with the same fight. And listen, that's Tim and Wolf that were walking into the entire Flashless team. They pushed him back. Look at this Baron drop. Wolf's just gonna zone them out of the way. The rest of the team finished it already dead before Flash will get anywhere close. And now SKT gonna leap into action. Carter, Ulti's away. Faker Flash. Ulti's just for the solace. Benny gets a nice chain out, but Peter prompts the Ragnarok goes straight into Benny as Wolf exhausts. The Varus and Maple just trying to keep them down. MMD will be the sacrifice. Faker grabs his first kill of this game. On Ivan. So both he and Peanut in this tournament have fit the tournament matter, picked it up and speaking of Castle. Now Castle looking for here, but Faker doesn't have the subs. Already flashes out of the way, but oh, the they have the angle on him. Faker just has to keep running. Bot lane's pushing. That's yeah. bad news. Ezreal or Karma could collapse on a Faker. He is dead. Maple wants to try and take it down, but Faker's going to buy as much time as he can. Faker still has a barrier. Might just hold a root call away. And first blood goes to Maple. Oh, we've seen this story before. Exactly, the fatal damage could have come through in there. Karsa. He's gonna burn it down, already dies. Faker actually gets the kill. Shockwave's gonna miss, that's a round one, but MMD in there, Peanut also invading. For Betty to push up, again, forcing the Arcane shift back. They manufacture fights. Maple back in, but Faker here with the barrier flash and the Shockwave, Maple gonna flash it. Really wants to go in, but Peanut into defend already. He'll get burned, Peanut, huge damage, and Faker oh. shuts it down with a dissonance. Ball location was the last thing you were thinking about when Faker had to use the barrier. Greatness now from G2. You've got a six minion lead in the top side as he gets to reset. And this man, you know, first year has been the star for the team at this tournament. Trick is able to get through the very end of that acceleration game, by the way, to get into range here. And first, no hesitation, flashing over blind. Yes. It's a possibility that Peanut could be there. Absolutely is, yes. and if you needed a way to win the game, getting perks 2 was certainly gonna be one of those. And look at this, Trick as well. He knows there's no flash, flashes in for the guaranteed slow, and then waits for Faker to try and move around. 
to be able to land his Q very nicely played. Here in the playoffs. And I think what they need to do, well, they're going to continue to focus Faker. Can he dodge? Round three in the mid lane. Rude is there, and Faker pops the barrier. Going to get knocked back, staying alive a quick second longer, and it doesn't matter. 3-0 for Perks. Sure. Down that mid turret. That could just blow the map wide open. Yeah, definitely an option as well. You see G2 on the top side here. They're trying to set up these control wards so Trick can keep ganking mid. He's coming now. Finding Faker again. Looking for the play. Two on two. Peanut over the wall. Will he join? Not in range for the safeguard, but now a 1v1 Faker. Faker versus Trick, not one the the Ivern typically wins as Daisy now comes to support the rest of his teammates. Here oh, he oh, around the back, the knockup turns into Faker, the barrier doesn't even matter. Kill comes through to expect. Nice pick up there as Wolf joins the fray, it means nothing. Infernal Drake, he's not on top lane though. Uh, Mithy has eaten Hooney. Yep, decent damage there on the tank, still has flash, not choosing to use it to get away from the equalizer, burns it now and jumps over the wall, he should be just fine. Expect though, actually wants to chase and takes him down, Hooney did not flash in time into the mid lane. A kill for Perks as well, but the chase is on and Trick might be dropping with this one as well, the slow is there, should be a quick two kills, can then stop any of it as Faker wants into this one, double kill quickly for Peanut, now Mithy on the wrong side of this one, pops the shield, won't matter, Peanut flashing the chase, gonna get that one picked up, bang, next one of the block, but he's gonna oh! survive it! And will not go nice down, kill. SKT smashed that fight open. Boards to try and force something, they're actually just starting it straight away. Uh-oh, they're gonna hope for a bad play out of SKT, but they're coming right away, so it's gonna be a quick disengage and a quick turn around to get the fight to happen. Can they get anything to happen? Stun's gonna land on the front line, Peanut now in the front as well. Here comes Hooney, a heroic dive in, and a great knock as well, the follow through is in. Look at the damage that they've already picked up, one is expected is dead, and SKT continue to exert the damage out, but Mithy's gonna be next up soon. Perks will get a trade kill for one, but Trick running out of health, and Zven can't get much down either. Perks gonna hope to make a little bit of edges on this one, but Hooney's still on the chase, Peanut as well, the kill comes in. Triple for the SKT jungler, Bang will be felled. Oh. But Zven is next up on the chopping block, he can't get away from this one. Faker hoping to make the kill happen, and he will make it go. Four to two advantage, SK. You feel like SKT have been a bit, you know, slower, a bit more measured than usual? That was a 7.8 thousand gold barren power play that they had. They clean up the map now, Bang out of man of the fight, gonna come in, not quite a kill on the wolf though, first hoping for an opening, not gonna have it though, Spec low, Mithy as well, the oh. kill comes through for Bang, and another one in the back line as well, two for zero, SKT looking to close it out right now, Hootie flashing out of the Nexus turret, hoping to take them all down, and he will do so. Look at the kills, left, right, and center, the ace is completed. Another game, and let's take a look at how he set that up, still had the spear on the ground, and Faker, Gets hit with the stun. It's a two-level advantage at the time that he goes for it. Flash goal is everything. Not using. Actually, already very strong. They're going now for expect. Oh, and a lot of damage onto the gangplay. Gold the in for the Galio as well. He's going to flash to buy a bit more time. It looks like saving it was the right choice back then. Wolf with the flash into the exhaust. The slows are there. One more hit will get the chop and expect. Not locked for the world. Kill goes through to Faker. Yeah, but Gino has to get something else. A bang! Oh, 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 they screwed it up. More than he can shoot. Maybe the rest of the team can re-engage. He looks for it, doesn't find it just yet. And here comes the ult. He's looking for the dive, looking for the flank, looking for damage on a perks. And Faker looking to take him out. One more shot to flash the auto. It should be a trade kill, but Trick is dead. Meanwhile, and Mithy running away. Faker survives the tower dive. Will there be a re-engage? Bang a bit low at half HP, but only three alive versus five with SKT. Means they're going to keep going for this. In case Jiju pushes up, Sven is very far forward. Faker, he's spotted by Trick. Jump in for Trick, doesn't have Flash, has the Q, though, look at the oh. get back, and he's right in the face of X Hello. Absolutely beautiful from Trick, and the trade goes to G2. Takes the charm for him, another fight now. And there's Wolf, CC'd up a little bit, no Knock is there, this time they can kick him back, and they bring Faker with them! They've got the front line to kite, to fight, to see what they can kill, Wolf is down, Faker forced to run away, he's alive so far, Ulti used to dash away, two-man knockup, Trick is low, bang on the wings though, here comes the shield, one kill, two kill, make it three, but it's oh, right back! back for Bang! Expect wants back, and he gets him a double kill for the gameplay. Now the chase on Ahuni, can he pick him off? Revenge is relieving the European LCS, he's running away to stay alive. One more shot, two more will do it, and that's the kill picked up for Sven. A huge team fight for G2. They're getting it all right now, they're in the face of SKT. 30 minutes into this game, and G2, they're dominating. And G2 hoping history can repeat itself. Every best of five is a 3-1. It's a joke to some, but maybe it can happen. G2 Esports about to strike back, about to close down the game. The fourth death for Faker, the ace courtesy of Sven. For the counter game here Miss. in the mid lane. Perks, though. Good equalizer. Perks does have the ability oh, to flash away, but a perfect charge flash from Faker. 
He is angry from the earlier lanes and gets a kill. Properly done there, and Trick will go to steal some Raptors away, but be careful because Peanut and Faker are back in the mix here. Yeah, he just lost mid lane control. Kick back in, spikes away one of the Raptors at the very least, but Peanut uh, does force the ulti out. Here comes the teleport in. Here's the snipe in. Wolf's gonna get the double knock, and this is gonna be an absolute slaughter. Minty's got no way out. SKG wiping the floor with G2, and Perks is up next to Flash Q to follow. The Shockwave won't buy enough time. Three quick kills for SKG. Huge. Let's see what they can get. Taker looking for the flame, flashes for lands the charm, perks knocked up as well, the damage should be there, Shockwave is a complete air ball, and SKT make it 8-1. And that all vision, fog of war from G2's perspective, because SKT has so many picks, uh-oh, Trick actually going in now! A little slow on a mega stun on Baker as well, will they have the follow through with Oriana, they're gonna try with the Shockwave, meanwhile, the rest of the team getting away, perks gonna survive, and there's a shutdown, give a three for his vent, courtesy of a flash. Always looking for a counter, but it's so dangerous to shove up into the mid lane. And just like that, Trick down a half HP as Faker wants in the follow through Whoa. for Peanut. No, the ulti prevents the kick from doing anything. Able to survive, but oh, he He's gonna fall down. Mindy wants the trade, finds nothing for it. No damage on a Faker. The flash does not at all. Uh -oh. The shot wave to miss with a stun on a Faker. That should be enough for the kill, and Perks gets it. And there's not a lot of follow up damage anymore. They're waiting to knock down Perks. There's Peanut. He gets it picked up. Now for Mindy, but Exile's gonna trade his life for it. Maybe Peanut shouldn't quite go. Looks for Mindy. Can't get the kill. The minions won't get it either. The heal comes through, and G2 stay alive. Oh, it is getting bloody, boys! SKT diving turrets here, and G2 come out! Oh! The shot came in just in time. Let's see if they can make those Baron Baits happen. Mooney pushing up on the bottom lane. First set for SKT, always is pushing out these side lanes. You can see it on the mini map. They've got both of them, and now both solo laners are coming towards the mid lane. There's the flash! Follow Wolf with a giant knock. I'm gonna find three with the ultimate. Equalizer on top, and Perks is down. One for zero with no shock. We have a trade only on a support, and Sven not gonna make it much longer as well. The chase is in. Look at the beautiful plays out of Faker, crushing the back line by himself. Applause all around. As they grab Mountain Trick number two, next one will be Elder. A nice uh, stun on a Faker, but Mithy, Char means he's dead. The kill picked up. Even without Peanut, part of the fight, he's back to the front lines, but he can't really zone out much. As Baron Dust minions coming in. Spec gets taunt. Look at the damage I put on the supposed tank. Expect nearly dead. Forced to run away. The flash kick on to Sven. Next up, one more shot. I'll do it. Shockwave gonna miss. And Faker's in the back line already. He's killed off the carries. The turrets are dead. And SKT gonna close out game three. And they will be one win away from maintaining their crown. G2 trying to stop. But it's not gonna happen. The minions will close it out. Wolf with the last hit. Goes. Here's the ulti coming in because Peanut wants for this one. And Zen gets the lantern out. Nice little alley oop there. Throw your teammate out and give him the lantern away. But Baker's now to join the party. They got to buy some time and they're going to kill him for it. Only the one for one. Maybe not a good use of his time. The huge 4G2. And the following team fights that you really want to get your two items by Oh here. man, the pressure is still there. SKT able to utilize Faker's actual lane lead. Yeah, play Thresh. Tom Kent ruining your day. Now there's no Devour. Oh, Trick didn't hit it. Peanuts around, of course, he can be saved by his vents. They gotta go for Trick instead. A lot of damage on the lease and still looking for a bit more. Is Peanut. Q's gonna land, they're gonna go for the play. Shots right back up, but Trick kicks back in, bang, and this time there's no way back out for him. But the chase is on, and Peanut's gonna kill one. Bang actually able to kill him with the poison damage instead. The chase in for Faker. He's gonna jump back out. One for zero SKT, and there's more coming. They fell into SKT traps, and now the trap is closing. In between the turrets, they're going for more. Sven is dead already in the list. Not much else to do. Here comes Mindy. He's got the shield, but it's not going to be living in for much longer. The chase is on, and it's going to be a kill in for the Olaf. It's flying towards their team. Nope. Then he goes for the Devour. He doesn't do it early. Now he gets this, kicked in, though. They have to go for a Wolf. The shock move is there. All the cooldowns burn for the tank, and it means nothing. The re-engage is here in SKT. Well, they all they coming mid now. Here comes the flank out from the mid lane. The G2 forced to flash away from their opponents. Fresh kill comes through as Perks hits the map. Faker gonna be next up to take down Trick. Gets the kill. Two for zero. Ten to three overall in the game. Sven next up to fall. It's a third kill in a row. G2 stops this one. Huni gonna start it up early on. Shockwave only catches one of the frontliners though. And Bang pops the ulti for a bit more damage. Hooked in. Eaten back up by Wolf. But it does buy some time. Expect now on the front. Baron has been part of this fight, so... And Peanut's 1v1 with the Baron. 
goes down to half health. Eventually he gets a friend, but Wolf on oh. the outside. G2 actually find a bit of an opening. They're pulling in the team. They're gonna go for this fight against Bang and Wolf. Exhaust is on and expect part of the fray. And SKT actually splitting their focus too much. Two kills will go through to G2, but Huni gonna rejoin the fight first. The flame spin is there. Zone is by some time. Fake for the back line. Gonna take down Perks. Then next up to kill, and Peanut takes him down as well. It looks like it's not enough for G2 to get with this one. Expect not to expect any kills here on this as Peanut finds his double. And the tank will go down last, but assuredly he will be falling here as well as Faker wants it to happen. And Hooney's going to make it so as well. And here we go. Nexus turret's about to fall. SKT to cement themselves the championship. G2's redemption is nice, but SKT going through the crucible of the mid-season Invitational to lock it down as the best team in the world, and SKT are once again the champions!